Hey everybody, Mananin here, welcome back to Crusade Kings 2 Conclave. Last episode we began the series and seized Kutaya um, from the kingdom, the Sultan of Jermian, who is obviously quite a bit annoyed with me now, um, declared war, usurped title, title claimant, and ambitious, so many reasons to dislike me. Luckily he's got pretty much no power, so I'm not too fussed. Um, if you can hear wind in the background, it's unfortunately because it is terrible weather here and I am frozen. I, I am wrapped up in so many layers, I'm basically an onion, but either way, the show must go on. So, we are currently waiting for these two guys to finish their wars, because they are both defending versus infidels, which means I cannot attack them because they don't have the piety to lose, because you lose 100 piety if they are defending versus infidels. And I think it's probably going to be this guy, he's going to be the lucky one, because his war is on 94%, whereas the other guy is defending versus crusade. Uh, charity can dangerous work. Okay, so I lost a bit of prestige. That's a bit annoying, but whatever. Um, also, last episode, I, when I was editing, I noticed that my voice was very, at parts, very, very staticky and buzzy. I'm sorry about that. I think the mic was too a bit too close to my face. Um, hopefully, I fixed that now. I'm not too quiet. Um, and of course, hopefully, Christ that wind. But whatever. It shouldn't be too disruptive. I gained piety. That's good because I need piety because. Uh, I'm going to lose it in my future conquests, because until the Byzantines have some sort of issue, I'm not going to be able to take them on. So I need to be expanding against the smaller Islamic principalities to my south. And if I get all this land, I can then maybe start looking at attacking Armenia, um, who are quite powerful, but... Oh, he became decadent. Hang on, let's get rid of this guy. Straighten up. Why, why not? I need. I don't have enough piety. Okay. Well, this is going to be. This is going to be something, isn't it? So hang on. Why does? Okay. The Ilkhanate. Right. So because the Ilkhanate, the the Khan himself is actually Muslim, that's not considered not not held. But it's uh, okay. It became sympathetic towards multiple religions. It's good. Ish. Something. Someone's trying to kill my brother. Um. Honestly, you can have, you can kill him if you want. He doesn't really like me very much. Maybe it's because I made him a few food taster. Oh, we got bubonic plague. It's the Black Deaths going around. I hope Orhan doesn't die because he's actually. Um, I was looking into the history of the of the early Ottoman Sultanate. Um, Aladdin dies quite early on. He he dies of some sort of disease, I think, or killed in battle. Um, God, it's, it's bloody. Um, musical caliphates right now. Um, but Orhan is the one who takes over. I don't want him to die because he's got really good stats. So I'm going to marry you off to... In fact, no, I'm not going to marry you off at all. Because it could be that you don't take over and then I've got to deal with... Uh... Oh no, this is the guy that didn't like me. Okay, well, I'm going to try and imprison you. Yeah, he's in prison. So we can sit there now. And you can be thrown into the oubliette. Not prone to Ubiya. There we go. So he will slowly die, which is ideal, because he's a problem. We'll get rid of them, and we'll just go for commanders. He's ter we've got terrible commanders, really do. I've had a daughter. Cool. Fair enough. That's another alliance I can get. And they've finished their war. These guys levies back up there. That was uh, irritating. Um, how long till my truce is done with this guy? It is another three years. I'm not going to try... Ideally, I don't want to have to wait. I'm currently on 2,666. This guy is on 2,600. It's on the exact same amount. Are you serious? No, I was... I clicked the guy. So I've got more troops than him. This guy also does not have any alliances. I believe I do. I do. Kandar, who will bring me some troops of their own. Can I get any alliances with maybe the... Kargan? That would be nice. Or oh, the Hafizid. Who are the Hafizids? Hafizid Sultanate of Africa. Oh, okay, maybe. Um, okay, well, I'm going to go for the betrothal of the Ilkhanate. <laughs> Someone died. Oh, no! I've, no! I've lost my marriage alliance with Kandar. Okay, well, let's go back to Kandar. Hello. Do you have any children now? Any that I can marry? Or you can be married to... 
betrayed my daughter to the the heir to the Kandal Sultanate. Could go poorly in case he takes over and pre eventually presses a claim on my on my kingdom. But hopefully it won't be too big a deal. Can I form an alliance with you? Yes, we can because we've done it before and he likes me. I'm pretty sure uh, if you've already got a formed alliance in the past, you're much better off. Can I form an alliance? I cannot form an alliance with that. Not landless. What are you on about? I'm so confused. But whatever. Um, any more alliances? No, there isn't. It's annoying. So, we've still got an alliance. We are going to attack this guy. Declare war. I will call in Kandar. Lovely stuff. So, we're going to raise up the levies. Move into here. Wait for our ally to turn up. Is that mountainous? It is mountainous. So, it'll be a tricky fight. Although, I do have money to spend. So what I will actually do is make sure I've got overwhelming force and higher... Oh, that wind. Sorry if you can hear that. It's really quite loud. Uh, we're going to hire this army. I don't need it for long. Just long enough to crush the initial force. Then I'll sell it. Well, not sell it. Disband it. And um, be gone. So let's go and kill these guys. I will lead the center and then the, that guy can lead that. Is he Bulgarian band? Cool. We've got the Bulgars. That is good. So, we are going to... Is there a river crossing? There is not a river crossing. Will they get away? They will not get away. We will catch them. And I've become a brilliant strategist, which is great. And patient. Oh, wow. That was a very productive battle for me, wasn't it? Well, we are going to split off the special troops. And... In fact, no, we're all going to... We might as well try and rush it down while, while we've got the troops. Costed me a fortune, but... If it wins me the war nice and quickly, then I'm happy. Which it has done. So now we'll win the war, enforce demands. Lovely stuff, so that's another kingdom gone. And I will then disband my troops, including all the mercenaries. So I now won't go into a horrible, horrible debt. Which is great news. I hate being in horrible, horrible debt. I tend to find it's really disruptive. I'm going to keep hold of that mosque for now, just because of the fact I can hold them for free because I'm a Muslim. And apparently, these will go to someone else. I don't think they will. There we go. It disappears. Right. So the next target will be this guy, who is defending versus the Crusades. So that might be for a while yet, unless the Pope goes a white piece. I don't think they tend to do white pieces. I've never... I, you don't have to see it. It's normally a failure or a win. I'm just having a sip of tea there. So the King of Trebizond is currently defending versus everyone. Good God, that's a lot. he's not going to last long, really. Um, that's a shame, because I wanted them to exa exist for a little bit longer. Who's occupied by? Not Rum. No, the Tigan Berbalik. Is that one of these guys? It is. It's this guy. So they are going to expand. The, the Mongols are apparently not done with expansion and want to keep going. However, he is in an independence war. And if he wins, ideally he's going to win. He's not going to win. If he could win, that would be great, because that would break them up a little bit. Um... Although, I'm not in really in position to take advantage of it at the moment, so it's not the end of the world. If they could be an ally, I'd prefer them to be stronger. But, um, for now, they're fine. I can now, apparently, Holy War this guy. Holy War for Asia Minor. Armenia Minor. Um, this is, this, Anatolia is Asia Minor. So, he has 3,500 troops and no allies. I have 3,227 troops and allies. I'm going to go for it, because what could go wrong? Hang on. Other Myophysites. There are no other Myophysites. Georgia, maybe? Georgia's Orthodox. Nope. Okay, this guy's on his own. So, if we declare a Holy War for Armenia Minor, move my... He's already in Ankara. So, we will raise up my troops. My allies already called in. We'll head down here to the coast. And then I'm going to stop this guy raising troops because I wanted to actually lead my army. Because he's really good. Orhan wants to kill him. That is really uh, disruptive. Can you not do that? I mean, yes, it'd be historically ac Well, not historically accurate. He didn't kill him, I don't think. And he's decadent anyway. Uh, I am never going to be able to straighten these people up because I am so horrible to my Muslim neighbours. Denmark's just wandering through. What is this? The Duke of Athens. What are you doing? You are holy warring for Sibariot. Really? Okay, please, Muslim allies, help me. I don't want to deal with this alone. Well, Orhan can lead the center, and then apparently this guy's the next best. So, 
There we go. We're going to cross over. Yes. The Sultan of Rom. You can most certainly come to my aid. Thank you very much for that. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's, he's gotten past the whole I desire this county thing because it's not actually de jour territory. It will be in 95 years, but until then, it's not. So we're going to occupy this land. We're going to slowly take it down. Um, I don't really want to attack him because I'm pretty sure this is all mountainous. It is, and there are river crossings everywhere. So it's going to make it more difficult to take him out. Unless, of course, they're in one war. Maybe they'll... In fact, can I get an alliance with these guys? Princess of Rome. Arrange betrothal between them. No political concerns. Hmm. Yeah, of course, because he doesn't... We, we border each other. And apparently bordering each other is a big deal. If I'm here, will they help me? I think they will. I may be wrong. I am wrong. I'm no longer patient. This could have been a bad idea. It is not a get bad idea. It is a fantastic idea. We have basically won the war of that one battle. And he sounds like a type of cheese. Hatham Hatumi. I'm pretty sure that, like, oh, it's Halumi. I'm getting confused now. Although it would be a decent, pretty decent cheese. So where are you going? Are you not helping me? Yeah, you're meant to be. You're not in any other war. What are you doing? Just wandering up and down. Oh, no, he's going to go and... No, he's not going to go and fight that army. Oh, now they're off to go and help it. I've lost my al ally. That's annoying. But he's still in the war. Because I'd have thought he'd be immediately out of the war. To be honest. So, basically, all... I got a tithe. That's great, that's great news. But basically, all that army's doing is just sort of patrolling and stopping them taking any land. Which is great. Um, we are going to just keep sieging down, I suppose. We've already won a battle. Um, and there we go, they've got to run away. The joys of being defended by your, your allies in faith. That is great news. Trebizond has now sort of been isolated into Korchev and is still getting sieged down by pretty much everyone in the known world. Good effort. Good effort all round. So, is, why the hell are they... They were joining my siege then against an, a force they're not even against, but whatever, I'm not going to complain. Uh, it is a bit annoying that they started causing me attrition, that's not ideal. But that tithe, and the fact I'm still gaining money, means I will be able to hire some mercs if I need a decent numbers advantage to take this army on. Um, but I think, if they attack me, they'll have the same problem I had, in that... Oh, what's this? The Khan of Koten has formed... A, are you feudal now? You're feudal now. Okay, so that's part of the Mongol Empire split up. Fair enough. We've got a truce ending with it'll be my neighbour, which is good news because I fully intend to take advantage of that. And the Venetians are attacking Mentes. That's annoying. Although I do get a free CB on them then with Holy War. And there's no one really nearby that the Athens might get involved and... Venice itself is quite powerful at this stage in the game. They are the they are the at their peak essentially. Um, this is after the fourth crusade by a long shot, but still, they're uh, they are the trading power. If we have a look at the Merchant Republic map mode, they control pretty much all of the Eastern Mediterranean. And the Hansa is obviously up there. So it's in the late in the later periods, Venice is not just a single single uh, single county you can just take out quickly like you can in the earlier starts. They are fully established, and they're they're a terror. And I don't understand why this... They're just sat there. Then, like... Will they follow me? They won't join me in the battle, so I'm not going to. But they... Apparently they are. They are helping me siege this down, and they're not even against him. Whatever, we'll siege this down, and then we're going to see if they will actually follow me into a thing, and I will get a claim on... Caraman. Essentially, I lose prestige and I get to claim the Balik of Silphic. Yeah, why not? I've currently mainly expanded by, by claims, which are completely legitimate, I swear. So we're going to try and cross over and see if they follow. If they don't, I still think I'll be able to win. They will follow. Wow, they should not be following. I'm now known as the Wolf. That's fantastic. And we've won the war. Fan this is going startlingly well. So there we go. We've now con we've now uh, seized a huge amount of land. Right, cool. 
And it's safe from the Byzantines because it's miles away. So, it's not in any immediate threat. So, we're going to give out all this land. I'm going to give away this mosque here because I don't want it. Because I've got better land now. And I am at my domain limit. That is perfect. We're going to go and take out this army. And then uh, look to further expand. But I don't know who with because I can't get an alliance with them. And Rum's not going to get involved. What about Kandar? Do we can we be friends again? Form alliance. We need a non-aggression pact. We can't get a non-aggression pact through well, maybe get through marriage. Who's the heir? You are the heir. Betrothal between these two. Yes. All this stuff. We'll get a non-aggression pact that way, and then we'll look to you and go, "Hey, mate, form alliance." And he's going to go, "Yeah, cool, fine." Fantastic. So, we're going to go and attack this army. She was eating with great appetite. That is good, I think. Got an etiquette. Oh, okay, cool. That's part of the etiquette focus then. We're going to rush this down. We're on 90% war score. Where are they going to run to? Kizikos. Will they keep going all the, way to the a all, the way all the way to Athens? Maybe they will. I don't know. But uh, what I do know is that this war is basically over. So, I'm instead going to... He's defending versus... Infidels. Defending versus infidels. Basically, everyone I want to expand against is now defending versus infidels, which is really irritating. But, what can you do? I can create the Duchy of Armenia Minor. I could do. That would give me a little bit more prestige every month. And it would give me a du jour claim on this bit of land. So I don't even need a fabricated claim. I will actually remember that, because if, if Osman dies, which he is only he's 50, it's possible, um, I will lose that du jour claim if I don't... If my, Fabricated claim if I don't press it, so I will need that as your claim to seize more land. So that is that is quite useful if I need to take it. And of course, I wiped out the kingdom of Armenia, which is always nice. It's always nice to kill a kill a kingdom. So so far, we've killed two kingdoms. One was not really; it was just a county, and one is actually a decent, but well, tiny still, but still more than one county. Crusaders failed. Fantastic news. Actually, not really, because I'd have preferred them to lose, to uh, to win. Because then, Bari would have taken a massive hit. Whereas, at the moment, they are still... He's known as the Holy. A Jihad for Castile! Are you, are you serious? Castile? And not Greece? That's something I'm hoping... That I'm, I'm holding out hope for an for a invasion, a Jihad for Greece. Because if I could win that... I hope it's actually, no, it's probably ideal that it's not now because I don't have the um, troops to potentially have the advantage. But if I could win a jihad for Greece, that would be a huge, huge benefit. But as it is, we are going to raise up my fleet, my vassal fleets, because I'm not spending my own money. We're going to wander over to the coast. We're going to intolerable. That guy, he's no longer caught chaplain. That's one of the ways to get rid of a court imam in, in, as a Muslim. It's very tricky to get rid of them. He's leading troops, apparently. Well, you can stop leading troops, because he's terrible. Stop leading troops. And you're going to start converting this land. And then once we're here, we're going to board the ships. And sail to... Where is the actual... It's, it's for Castile, isn't it? Off to join... Over for a ruler. The... the Caliph is attacking the... Okay, good luck. Um, Gia for Castile. And it's for Castile, so... Du jour map-wise, there. So if we go, if you drop off in Mercia, we are basically there. The reason I'm doing this, if you're not aware, is because the Mujahid trait is amazing. Yes, we will join your war. Thank you, and I've won that holy war. So you'll pay me money. Thank you very much. And I am going... Not to request him to join my war, because it's not war I particularly care about anyway. Um, is this, are they not winning this? They are very slowly. They've got a huge army. They should be able to press this advantage much easier than they currently are. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to get to the Holy... Well, it's not really the Holy Land. It's the, the House of War. And we're going to drop off, wipe out that army. I'm now Mujahid. Is my son Mujahid? He is. He's also decadent, which is unfortunate for him, but uh, whatever. I'm going to have you lead troops as well, so that you will have the Majahid trait. 
And then we're going to end the episode. Um, I apparently can't give him that. Is he already my... Yes, he is. Right, okay, so he needs to lead troops. You're currently fabricating claims. Of course you are. So we're going to win this battle. Oh! Orhan died in glorious battle. That is fine, actually. I mean, not historically accurate at all, but, you know, it'll do. Because it means that now there's only one son that I need to worry about. So we've crushed them. Um, and then you can be holding this. So then we let them leave. You should now have the Mujahid trait. You do now. Fantastic. And we're going to end the episode there. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.